Alright guys, just wanted to give you a quick little video here tonight. Um, this is a project I've been working on for quite a while. Um, never really been a cabinet builder, but uh, decided to build uh, some props that I was inspired by a, f pay a website called uh, Frankenstein's Lab, I think it is. I'll post it down in the comments down below. Um, they had some really cool props and um, I really like the looks of them so I decided to try and emulate them. I went on eBay which I had never done before. <laughs> Kinda got addicted to bidding on these different pieces um, such as these vintage uh, meters and uh, old fashioned radio knobs and that sort of thing uh, to make it look really authentic. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that when this is done it's going to be more than just a Halloween prop. This is going to be something I'm going to be proud to display. So, uh, you may see this year round in my house. And uh, we got a little surprise coming for the top. Uh, some of you may have an idea what that is. And hopefully, that will be installed sometime this week if everything goes right. Uh, the other thing um, that uh, I worked on was the bubble tubes. And one of the ideas that I had in mind for that also was inspired from that same website. So, this is kind of what I came up with. Uh, built that little box there to house the uh, the lighting and uh, you can see I got four of the uh, bubble tubes up on here um, you don't see the bottom plate which I would have done was I took this and drilled it out and so I can shine the light up above but the little wooden discs here I have on there for decorative purposes to kind of jazz it up a little bit they did not, um, there's this lip on the bottom here, so they don't fit when I set them on there really well. So I'm going to have to like epoxy them down or something. So I'll end up doing that um, and then putting those on. And then uh, I'll probably do something like add some more knobs and that sort of thing. I got a, I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, there's some more stuff I'll show you guys later on in the week as I get it done that I've been working on. But basically, here's the inside of this. It's real simple, just four little uh, plastic mounts for lights. And they're just four LEDs. Those spotlights I got from uh, Amazon. I think it might be the same ones that Corey found uh, from Columbia Manor uh, had talked about. Um, I found these earlier in the year and uh, decided to use them in this little prop. So yeah hopefully we'll add some dials and that sort of thing but uh, that's kind of what I had envisioned um, so uh, that's about it for tonight guys um, hopefully we'll be posting the video with this part that we're gonna add to this and then this box will get a lot more exciting than it is right now but I like it it's retro looking and tell me what you think guys so um, We'll be adding some more pieces to this lab scene. Um, they're in progress, but I'm not quite ready to show them yet. So we'll do that soon. All right. All right, guys. Hey, have a good night. Uh, you know what? I just thought you guys might want to see what it looks like in the dark. So here it is in the dark. It's really, it's really bright, guys. I don't think the video is going to do it justice. Um, of course, all the knobs and stuff. I'll have to put on. I'll have to put some nice little mood lighting. Um, not mood lighting. Yeah, mood lighting. Halloween mood lighting, so you guys can see the knobs and stuff. But um, that's kind of what it'll look like when it's sitting on the bench with the stuff behind it. And I'll, like I said, I'll do some additional little lighting on the front panel so you can see the the uh, valve, the uh, meters and stuff. And um, if anybody has any idea how these meters here get lit up, um, these here, without like, you know, destroying them, sh send me a comment about it because um, I've, I've tried like, you know, putting LEDs in them and that sort of thing, but um, you know, it destroys them. And they're vintage meters and I kind of want to keep them uh, in good shape. So if anybody's got a clue on that, I'd be appreciated. 
All right, guys. All right. So there we go. The night shot. All right, guys. Have a good one.